Another advantage of the disc seal procedure, aside from its uh, low infection rate compared to PRP and stem cells, is the fact that fibrin becomes a part of the disc. It stays in the disc. Uh, it's a biologic adhesive. Uh, the discs are leaky. That's why patients have symptoms. Uh, whether it's a herniated disc, a bulged disc, degenerated disc, by definition it has annular tears and leaks. And so they can inject anything they want to into a disc, including the kitchen sink. If it doesn't stay there, it's not going to work. Uh, so fiber made sense. So fiber made sense first because that's what actually heals people in nature. When we cut ourselves, it's not stem cells that go to a cut. It's not PRP that goes to a cut, but it's fibrin. It's the two components that are in our body that come together when they recognize the cut, they recognize the exposed amino acid chains, and they seal that cut immediately. But if you look at your arms or legs, they probably look perfect. Uh, the skin looks great. And you don't see lines of fibrin everywhere. You see skin. And that's because fibrin has the ability to facilitate the growth of new tissue. So if one cuts their skin, it grows into new skin. If one injures their spleen, the FDA has approved fibrin to facilitate the healing of spleen tissue. When a person has open heart surgery, the FDA has approved fibrin uh, to spray on the heart to seal it and stop it from bleeding. Likewise, it's been proved that when fibrin is introduced into the disc, it causes the growth of new disc tissue. Nothing else has demonstrated that ability. Highest level of research is a randomized placebo-controlled study done by the University of California uh, and uh, looking at over 220 discs and it demonstrated that the treatment discs using fibrin all demonstrated healing. They demonstrated return to their normal strength. They demonstrated a lack of all the inflammatory constituents associated with degenerated discs. Uh, and uh, the uh, sham discs didn't. And so uh, the fibrin facilitates the healing and the growth of new disc tissue. It doesn't just seal it, but it causes it to heal over time. And that's what separates the disc seal procedure from all those other procedures.